diamond-shaped facades, and white marble shelves. Probably the last thing you would expect a library to be. But that's exactly what it is. Designed by world-renowned Dutch architect Rem Koolhaas, the exterior of the Qatar National Library looks like a folded piece of paper. Inside, it looks like the coolest place to hang out. Nitu Beni came for English literature books, but stayed for the ambiance. The first time I walked into the library, I was like, whoa, what? <laughs> and then, then I can see like, I mean, I've never been to a, such a big library before. Big is an understatement. The library sprawls like a village of books and resources. One year after its opening, it still draws wows. They enter the center, in the center of the building, so they feel directly the wow effect of all the books around them. But, we have also, but they also find their own way in the library. So there's a kind of, uh, you can linger around, you can find your own path in the library. So you find the freedom of finding your own atmosphere. You can sit in the main space, you can sit underneath here, which is a more sheltered living room area. You can go down, which is more a museum area. So you have find all kinds of atmospheres for your own mood. The beginning was uh, quite hard because... Vincent Kirsten has been with the project since day one. 10 years ago, when it was first in the planning stages. Of course, you take a certain risk, especially with the light and with the atmosphere in the building. You expect it would be like this, but for us, it's all it's passing our expectations, to be honest. The interior is so large, it's almost an entire urban space. But instead of housing people, the Qatar National Library is home to an entire population of books, more than one million. Tiers of marble bookcases house collections of Qatar's most important texts and manuscripts of Arab Islamic history. In the center of the library is the Heritage Collection. It's a six meter deep excavated space, much like an archeological site, housing historical Islamic texts, not to mention an abundance of e-books, magazines, and newspapers. I think this place is extremely important in Qatar because, speaking frankly, there are very few public spaces where people can assemble that's outside of a commercial space like the mall. The library is not only a biblioteca, but also a public meeting space. Its offerings extend beyond books, from knitting circles to lectures and exhibitions. Qatar hasn't really had a history of uh, libraries on anything like this scale or with anything like these sorts of functions. So we are the National Library, but we're a little bit unique because we do things that other national libraries do. We preserve the country's heritage and history, we make it available. But every single book you see in this space is available for lending. So we have a public library aspect, which makes us quite unique almost as a national library. So that's where we're getting a lot of the use from, people coming in and exploring the collection. The whole ambience, the, the architecture of the building and everything, it's just perfect. It's, uh, it's like, this is how I think a library should be. I mean, it's so interesting. This Qatar library sets a precedent for all libraries to come. Not only home to more than a million books, but to knowledge in all its forms, an environment which hopes to inspire learning. Adil Halim, TRT World, Doha.